here in Affinity Designer. Um, it's a program from Apple. Um, it's a one-time payment. This is Affinity, De Affinity Designer. This is the first version. They do have a new version out now, Affinity Designer 2. I still like one better. That's just me. Um, I'm still learning a lot of this stuff. But what I'm going to show you in this video is how easy it is to make um, a, 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 a t-shirt design. Okay, let's just go with that. We're going to make a t-shirt design right now. So I just open it up. New document right here. Uh, I got it already preset at a page width 2,000 pixels, page height 2,000, DPI uh, 300, and transparent background. That's a key right there, transparent background. You want it to be transparent right here. All right, so let's create. Boom. All right, here we go. So. You got this blank spot. Um, when you see these checkerboards, all this this is all checkerboard. That means it's, it's going to be a transparent thing, okay? There's no background. So to show up on a shirt without a background, okay? Or show up on any, anything without a background. So this is Affinity Designer. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to all these shapes. Pick a shape. I got a triangle, diamond, trapezoid, polygon, star, double star, square star, arrow, donut. I don't need all of that. All right, let's just go with a circle. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna hold down shift. Is it shift? What I gotta do? Shift, and I'm just gonna bring it. Oh, sorry. There we go. You notice that the size is the same. Both. Look at that. Right now, it's both of them are 779, 779. Bringing it down. All right, that's good enough. Go over here to this arrow over here and move it. I want to just center it up right here. All right, so. Hard part's done, in my opinion. All right, next thing we got the so we're gonna write on a path. This is what we, it's called writing on a path. So the first word is gonna be here, um, and the second word is gonna be down here. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You go over here to A, where the text is. You got artistic text tool and frame text. You want to use artistic. So I click artistic. I come up here. We see that little squiggly line. When you see that squiggly line, that means it's ready. To you, all you got to do is hit enter, and that green shows up. This is where your text is going to start. So let's put in, uh, excuse me, Frank's uh, t shirt design tutorial. Can I spell tutorial? I think that's how you spell tutorial. Anyway, so I take this uh, this green area here. This is going to move it. So watch this. Uh, see, I'm moving it. All right, Frank's T-shirt design tutorial. All right, that's too small for me, and I don't like that font. So I'm going to highlight all of that. Go up here to Arial, Arial, and change the font. Got so many options here. Let's see. How about uh, that's Bungie inline Call of Duty Ops. Uh, let's see. How about Chunk 5? Let's use Chunk 5, but I want to still, it's still highlight, highlight. So I'm going to change it 12 point to, let's go. You see how it went over to the other side? Don't worry about that. I'm going to change that. I'm going to have it at 20 points. I'm going to take that green, that green uh, arrow thing, and move that over until it, you see, it caught itself. All right, now I can move that green down some right there, trying to even it out a bit. All right, now take then. Okay, so Frank's T-shirt design tutorial. Um, so see what the cursor is. Now I'm gonna hit Enter, and it's gonna end, and the next letters are gonna end up down here. Um, I'll do Frank's T-shirt design tutorial 2023. No, uh, 2023. Uh, no, no, no. Affinity. I can't spell. Affinity Designer 2023. All right. And you see, you notice here there's another green arrow thing. You move. The, I can push down too hard. Come on, slow down, Frank. All right, there we go. You see that? Look at that. Super easy. Super easy. Now let's change some colors. Let's change the word affinity uh, to uh, 
da, 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 da. I like that one. All right, let's use that. And let's change the color of it to that. I'm doing. I'm using this uh, this wheel over here. You see that? Pretty cool, right? All right, let's let's keep that there. Now, designer. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the D. Let's make the D green. Uh, where's my green? Okay. Let's make the G uh, blue. All right. Let's make the 23. Um, ba -do 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 -do, that color. All right. Now, okay, Affinity Designer 2023, Frank's T-shirt design tutorial. That is just too boring for me. So I'm going to go back up to there, highlight all of it. I'm going to change. Okay, one of my favorite parts of Affinity Designer is over here. Okay, right now we're in layers. But if you hit effects right here, not effects, I'm sorry, styles. Okay, you get, check this out. So if I click some of these, Frank's T-shirt design tutorial is going to change up. Let's, let's do metal sharp look at that all of that changed actually that's because we're on all on the same layer i'm not worried about that all right that's kind of cool let's go with that metal white um plastic plexi gold art uh, disco 80s disco i was there <laughs> um how about Okay, I like this one, aluminum. All right, so let's space this out. You go up here to Frank's, space, go up to T. Uh, too big. Let's bring that back. Okay, there we go. Frank's T-shirt design tutorial. Now we can, we can even change this. Let's change the way tutorial looks. The word, just that part. Hot pink. Let's go to T and change that to something like that. And how about Frank's? Just the uh, just the angst part. <laughs> let's just do the angst part. Let's change that to uh, let's see. How about a blue? There we go. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, folks. Frank's T-shirt design tutorial, Affinity Designer 2023. As you save this, you got you got two ways to save this. You can save it or export it. Okay. Actually, you know, before we do that, this is uneven. Click it. I'm gonna move this. I keep hitting the button too hard. All right. Click it. I'm gonna move this green arrow here just enough. There we go. It looks a little bit more even now. All right think we're done here now oh one more thing one more thing so this is i could just use this but if you go over here to where it says stock okay if you hit the word stock and you type in um uh, clear this is where you can get pictures okay clear duck i just want to see if there's a duck <laughs> hit enter Ducks did pop in, um, but I want a transparent one. Transparent. Can I spell transparent? Transparent rant. I probably spelled that wrong. Okay, we got something transparent. That's good enough. Let's just pick one of these. I'll pick this car here. All right, drag it over. Drag this car over, place it in there. Oh, that's no, that's not transparent. I don't like that. It still has a background, so we're not going to use that. So you go to layers and you get rid of the top layer. That's the one that just got up there. We don't need that. Let's delete and let's keep it like this. Let's just keep it like this. But if you, oh, well, I'll tell you what, what I'll do. I'm going to go to my desktop and find something that's transparent and I'm going to place it in the middle here. It's going to come up as another layer. All right, so I'm going to go here to um, file and look for the word place. So hit place. It's going to go to desktop. 
I need to find a PNG file, something transparent. <clears throat> Let's see, what do I have that is transparent on, on my desktop? Come on, slow computer. Let's go. Uh... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, all my transparent stuff is over. Uh, I got a folder called um, updated, updated, uh, they're all updated um, logos and designs and stuff. Um, where are you? Updated brand logo, 66 of them. So all of these are transparent, actually. Um, Let's use, oh, first, before I do that, sorry, before I do that, can cancel, I gotta add another layer. New layer, now I can do it, okay. So now I can file, place, see how they lit up? All right, gotta add another layer. So I'm just gonna add something um, from this folder here. Um, even though it's, even though it doesn't say PNG, Web P is it's it's gonna still be transparent. Let's do um, that's an actual PNG. Uh, let's do I don't know, folks. Uh, let's do um, how about da, 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 da. man? Let's see what else is on my desktop first of all. I'm finding something. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Uh, let's use one of my goal getter. No, Frank Smith the Third, the comic book nerd, right here. Let's use that one. That is a PNG file. That's open. See that little arrow on the circle under the arrow? It's gonna drop it right there. See, it's on top. Now all I gotta do is make it smaller. I might put that on a t-shirt by itself. My friend Stephanie made that. This is an old one, too. I don't even use FrankSmithTheThirdMusic.com anymore, but this is just for this tutorial. All right, I think we're done here. So now I'm going to file. First, I'm going to save as. Actually, no. I'm going to save. Well, yeah, save, save as, same thing. I'm going to save it as tutorial. on my desktop. Now I'm going to ex export. Export is where where you can like send it to your phone or something like that. So you export. <clears throat> I already have it preset for PNG file. It's going to be 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And I export it uh, as a tutorial. Uh, just call it something different here. Tutorial for Affinity designer uh, t-shirt design or something like that all right and hit save and you can get out of this you can take I'm just gonna go out all together and the file itself is right here Frank's t-shirt design tutorial affinity designer 2023 Hey, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm Frank Smith III, and you just watched an Affinity Design, a Affinity Designer tutorial by me. Uh, thanks again. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more stuff coming this way, um, and um, you guys have a great one. Let's have a great 2023.